Do you hear that? The fridge just went on. This was a thing that was interesting to work with during the recording of this video. I bought myself a cable for my microphone. Zoom H2, I think it's called, H2N. Apparently it's a handy recorder. This means that I can now record acoustic instruments. So this seemed like a great opportunity to record some banjo. This tune is called Solstice Bells. It's one of those tunes that just seems to come out whenever I pick up the banjo. Because it's quite pretty, I, I like it, and it fits under my fingers. So I guess you'd call this a progressive bluegrass tune. Progressive bluegrass meaning you take the bluegrass format and kind of go nuts with it somehow. Whether you use more extended harmony, that's, that's very common. More extended structures is also common. Basically take that music into other places. Bands like the Punch Brothers and all Baylor Flex projects. I love it. Progressive bluegrass is what got me into to banjo in the first place, really. I did start out playing Irish folk music, tuning it like a guitar and playing fiddle lines. At gigs, people would come up to me and start talking about Baylor Fleck, and I didn't know who this person was. I looked him up eventually online, listened to one track, thought, this is cool. Went to a gig, Baylor Fleck and the Fleck Tones playing, and that was one of the most significant musical moments of my life. To say that I was blown away it's kind of a throwaway phrase, isn't it? But that was something that had such a huge impact on me. I remember standing there in the, in the audience and thinking, this is God. I had a small conundrum in that I had a progressive bluegrass tune to record and I didn't have the usual instrumentation. But it's progressive bluegrass, you can do what you want with it. So I used my banjo, electric bass, electric guitar, I even programmed some drums. At first I was attempting to keep fairly similar to the sounds of a bluegrass band, but pretty quickly I found that that just didn't really work. The electric instruments I have have their own sounds, so I ended up doing something that focused on the sounds that they're best at, in my experience and opinion. I needed to turn the fridge off every time I recorded, but I couldn't wait too long because it'd start making a clicking noise. So that was all part of the fun of making this video. This video also features the edge of the microphone, as I didn't realize it was there in the frame. Something extra to enjoy.